Let me ask you, what makes a good networking event or group, and, and how, would you, how would you recommend that people find that? Hmm. You know, that's a great question. What made a really good networking event for me personally was something that I was invested in. And that's different for different people, right? How you feel invested, but ultimately you have to get invested. And so what I mean by that is I was invested to take the time to people. And I'll say I probably called 150 people over the first month and a half to get them to attend. And again, it was, it was nerve wracking because I was telling them that they should come and take their time and attend this meeting and that it was going to be worthwhile for them when I wasn't absolutely positive because I needed people in mass to come out. Now, when I say in mass, I mean, you know, 15 to 20 people. That makes for a great group. But I knew that if we had 15 or 20 show up and then only 10 showed up and then only five showed up, that that was something that was going to die. So I was invested in developing new contacts, bringing new people in, being able to help them to feel really comfortable and confident. Our particular group, I believe, does that really well. And that's why people keep coming back. But then I also find that a great networking group can look much more structured. It can have lots of rules and regulations. That really helps a lot of people to feel confident inside of their group. So you have to determine what are your values? How do you feel invested in the success of an organization? And then follow through with those actions and get involved, stay true to it, don't give up just because something is uncomfortable.